Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the final few moments of the Star Forge Showdown to get Darth Malak. Seriously, one of the hardest events of all time, and more specifically, the light side path. Now, what I want to do today, because I already made one video earlier on when the, the event first came out on my main account, and I showed you how you can do this event without having mission, without, with having very little Zetas. I had one Zeta on Revan, and I also showed you how to do it with literally, no, pretty much, it wasn't a maxed out team, and I managed to do it. And what I want to do today Today for people still struggling with this event or people trying to prepare for the next time the event comes I want to make a quick guide very succinct on what what is the best team best mod loadout and the best strategy to knock out that light side path really easily because if you follow this video and you do what I do pretty much this event should be easy so the first question we got to talk about are what are the characters you should use if you're doing it now or preparing for the future and the easiest way to do it is Jedi Knight Revan, Bass Lashan, Jolie Bindo, Zalbar and Mission those are the characters you should farm and gear up and I'll tell you which Zetas are going to be very helpful to knock out this event so obviously you're going to need Jedi Knight Revan that's one of the requirements in order to get Darth Malak and obviously he's a great character to have all the Zetas so if you have all the Zetas which a lot of people who do have Jedi Knight Revan will but by far the most important is going to be the general Zeta because of all these lovely bonuses that Jedi allies are going to be getting every time they're attacking out of turn so this is going to be very important for that aspect so mods for Jedi Knight Revan honestly majority of your mods should be offense based like seriously this is this is not going to be a speed based event you want a ton of offense because once you get Malik under 50 percent health you want to make sure you're gunning him down real hard and I also put critical chance so you can get those get the get extra damage when you're knocking down the field stasis as well as the droids so critical chance and offense are going to be your best friend because you need to get big damage because between the droids and those little pods that the, the Jedi are in you want to make sure you knock them down quickly because they have really high health and protection next character is going to be Basil Shan again great character you can't go wrong with her she's a cornerstone character for a Jedi Revan team you, you just can't go wrong and the same drill don't worry too much about speed just worry about offense all across the board get as much offense as you can with the primaries with the secondaries wherever you can find it just slap on offense and I know these are six dot mods but this is the same type of modding structure I did for my other video where I, where I had lesser mods still same idea even if they're not six dots just load as much offense as you possibly can and with Basil Sean you don't need to really worry about Zetas you want to probably level this up before we enter battle because of all the bonuses that she's gonna be sharing with Jedi Knight Revan next character is gonna be Jolie Bindo this character we focused mainly on speed and health because you want to you want high health on Jolie so that way he anytime he's calling people to assist he's gonna grant a percent base of his health to that character and I want him to be fast because he's one of our slower characters and you want to make sure he's getting in it as often as possible to use his special eh you do it as well as making sure that he does a lot of healing and cleansing on the team and this is going to be very important to keep Zalbar always topped off on uh, health and making sure he doesn't have any debuffs on him now the next character seriously the most important character is going to be Zalbar you need him to be your absolute fastest character because you want to make sure he's landing armor shred a ton on Darth Malak. So when the time comes, we just zerg him. We just blitz this guy and knock him to kingdom come. And armor shred is going to help you make sure you reduce the amount of defense that uh, that Darth Malak is going to have. And to make sure this happens, you want Zalbar to be your fastest character. I showed this in my other video with my lesser team that you just want Zalbar to open a battle, land armor shred, and then just simply go to town. Find your fastest primary and secondaries. They don't have to be six that mods. Obviously, six that mods is preferred. You just want to be as fast as possible to knock out this event. Now, quick pro tip: you might not want to add the uh, the Omega to uh, to his basic because his basic applies damage over time, and when you're applying damage over time to Darth Malak, you get fear on you. So I would actually recommend if you can if you can meet the power threshold, the 17,500 power threshold, without it. Uh, please do not give the Omega because those damage over time are just going to hurt you when you're fighting Darth Malak. And the Zeta, although good, is not necessary. So far throughout this whole thing that we've done, the only Zeta that is necessary is Jedi Knight Revan and his uh, leadership ability. But if you can spare the extra Zeta for a good Zeta as well, I would recommend Mission, who is going to be our fifth character we got to talk about, and me and Big Z forever. This is an amazing Zeta, especially for Grand Arena Territories. This is good. this causes a lot of problems for people because she's going to call Zalbar, or she's going to assist off Zalbar. And as we're going to see with this preferred strategy, you're going to call Zalbar to assist a ton, which in turn will call Mission to assist, and you'll be able to quickly knock out droids and keep control of Dark Rage that uh, Malik will be able to stack up. And like with Jedi Knight Revan and Bastila, mission, you want to as well have offense across the board. Offense, see, look, we're only going to have 4% offense there, but offense there. We're going to get an offense set here with some good offense secondaries. Offense, 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 because this event has a lot of health 
and a lot of protection. And Darth Malak, when time comes, you want to make sure everyone's putting out their most damage possible. This is going to be your best team to knock out the light side path for Darth Malak. And we got to break this, break the beginning part down a bit because the number one tip, honestly, take your time and read all the abilities. I'll pop them up on the screen so you can see what everything says. But basically, you have all these stasis fields around the side of Malik, and when Malik falls below 50% health, he's gonna suck the ability of the lowest health stasis field and take an ability. Each one has their own thing, tenacity, critical damage up, you get a lot of extra things against uh, Revan, and then right here, you get a lot of speed and offense-based things. But by far, the most important thing is understanding what Darth Malik does, because Darth Malik is a bit different than the Malik you get when you finally unlock him. And the one main thing to look for is the Dark Rage. Now, Dark Rage is going to stack every single time he takes a turn, he'll get one element of Dark Rage. And as we see here, when he reaches 30 stacks of Dark Rage, he's going to become Enraged and go to town and destroy your team. You should never let him get close to Enraged. And the way you control his Enraged abilities is by knocking out either droids. Every time you take out a droid, even if this thing, this symbol disappears, you remove three stacks of Dark Rage. And anytime you take out a Stasis Field, he also will lose three stacks of Dark Rage. Every time you're applying a critical hit on him, you'll get fear. And it doesn't say it, but it should say it. Anytime you're applying a damage over time, Malik will also apply fear. So what we're going to do is as you're going along, I'm actually going to want Malik to take this stasis field right here. You would think you don't want to take any of them, but my best strategy is let him take only this critical damage stasis field because when, he's cr when he has critical hit immunity, you can't apply fear on him because you can't critically hit him anymore. And another one I would possibly recommend to let him take is tenacity. So before you start going all out on Malik at the end, the thing about tenacity is because Zalbar admission, they keep applying damage over time. And anytime you're applying damage over time, he's going to apply fear. And when you're going into last final rounds of going after Malik, you don't want to get fear. You want zero fear on your characters. You want to make sure everyone can go all out and do their thing. So what we're going to do is, first off, Zalbar has got to be your first character going. So you're going to open up, land this armor shred. We want to try to get about five armor shreds. That's the goal here. And notice, because we apply damage over time, the mission got fear in her. So that's what we're trying to pre uh, prevent with this particular strategy. My other strategy without mission, I didn't let him get tenacity, but for here, we're going to let it get him. Jolie's role is to always make sure he's cleansing and uh, also topping off the health and uh, the health of our team. Revan's turn. Now what you're going to want to do with Revan is only use Mark to take out the droids. And at the very end, I like to try to save one Mark to just shoot at Malik, uh, so you can just get everyone to call to assist. And you're going to remove some Terminator and all that other fun stuff. And now <laughs> here's the fun thing. I wasn't able to do this with my other strategy, but normally I can call Zalbar to assist which calls mission to assist, but she's got fear, so she won't be called to assist. So what I'm gonna do right now is just pass these uh, over to uh, Revan, but normally, if you're gonna call an assist, whether it's through Jolie or Bastila, always get Zalbar to get called to assist. All right, uh, let's just do our basic. Let's take out some droids. So we're gonna take out some droids. Every droid we take out, we're gonna reduce the cooldown, uh, reduce the stacks of Dark Rage. So there we go. There goes the mission assist. There's that Zeta in full swing. And I'm gonna call one more assist at, over here. So that way we get rid of this droid. Bada bing, bada boom. There goes one droid. We removed the three stacks of Dark Rage. And what the, the main goal here is that every time we take out a stasis field, we're gonna go and remove two droids. Because by the time we take out a pod, you're, you're gonna notice that they're going to pretty much respawn by then. And I'm gonna use my basic, do some big damage, 16,944 or whatever the number was, I lost track. And with mission, I know she has the blind ability, but the problem with her blind ability is that when she, if she uses it on Malik, which is cool because then Malik will miss a turn, she'll get fear on her. And it kind of sucks getting fear on mission because then she can't assist off Zalbar. All right, you know what we'll do? We'll do one more. Let's just, we'll do one more. We'll take out one more droid because if we can keep the stacks of uh, Dark Rage really low, it gives us a lot of wiggle room to play around. Here we go. Boom. Three stacks. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start weakening these pods over here, especially the critical damage one. We're going to let Malik soak up that critical damage pod so that way we can't critically hit him anymore and no more fear here we go we're take out the papers and the trash so i'm gonna stop uh weakening that one because malik's gonna take that pod because it's the weakest out of all those stasis fields so here we go next round of armor shred coming up people here we go bada bing bada boom two armor shred and this, there's just a lot of damage with this particular team which is why i altered the strategy a bit now we're gonna cleanse uh zalbar we never want him to be stunned he's important for this lineup 
call in uh, Basta to assist. Strategic advantage. I tend to pass between uh, Revan as well as Bastila. I always try to pass between those two. And another reason why you want to pass strategic advantage to Bastila is because she applies she applies uh she applies an ability block on her basic, which prevents the droids from getting defense and health and protection, which just stalls you. You don't want to be stalled at all. Okay, so here we go. Let's go now and finish off. Let's pass over these buffs to Zalbar, which should call mission to assist. Boom. Great job. We're controlling everything. Uh, excellent. And uh, I'm basically just gonna keep taking out these droids and probably another AoE ability or two. You're gonna notice that we're gonna have to uh he's gonna suck that critical damage uh, stasis field. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Let's see, will this do it? All right, so he's going to take the critical damage pod. Perfect. I want that to happen. So now, when we critically hit him, he's not going to apply fear. So the next target I want him to take, I want him to take that tenacity up. It's not that threatening for him to take, but it allows me to prevent him uh, from uh, applying fear on damage over time. So let's weaken this pod a little bit. Let's take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. All right, let's start getting Malik the tenacity up. So we're going to pop a few hits over here. Let's pass over the assist to Zalbar, which in turn should call mission to assist. And all right, hopefully we can cleanse uh, mission in a few moments here. Okay, okay, okay. A couple hits, a couple hits. All right, let's, let's get rid of some droids. So the stacks are getting a bit too high. I want to try to keep the stacks of Dark Rage to under 10. There we go. We're back under 10. And let's call in uh, Revan to assist here. You, you can't pass strategic advantage over to non... Uh, to non-Jedi, unfortunately, would be nice. Let's see if we can get rid of that droid. And we got another round of armor shreds. So four armor shreds right now on Malik. Let's get rid of an, uh, some more Dark Rage. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, he taunted. Was hoping we didn't get that. But let's see if we can make him get that tenacity up. We're going to call. We, no, actually, let's cleanse up mission. There we go. Mission's all cleansed up. And let's see. Let's get rid of this droid right here. Boom. Another droid gone. Kapoom. All right. Excellent. So we're getting close to him. Getting below 50% health. There we go. So now he's got the tenacity. He's got the tenacity, so we can't get fear anymore. We can't apply damage over time, and we can't, can't critically hit him. So now what we're going to do is start slowly chipping away at him and take out those last two stasis fields. Take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. And we're almost there. We're almost getting ready for our fifth armor shred capability. There we go. Boom. Boom. And I think we should get it in a second. Let's uh, call in Basta to assist. There we go. Look, he's, at, he's down to four Dark Rages. We're doing a, a fantastic job keeping control of everything. Oh, we didn't get, uh, unfortunately, we did not get uh, another round of Armor Shred. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. Let's uh, let's start actually getting rid of this last pod, and let's just go to town on this guy. Let's cleanse up uh, Revan a bit. He's falling a bit short. Get a big hit over there. Uh, let's see. Ew, do we want to start going after it? Let's. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to take out this last pod, and it's it's game time. So now things get crazy. Once you take out all the stasis fields, he now gets this drain life ability, which is a mini annihilate, uh, basically. So let's just go at it. We're going to just go all out. We, he only has four stacks of dark rage. Don't don't tra don't destroy all the pods until you got a good number of the armor shreds, whether four, or five, or more. And wait till he has low amounts of dark rage. And if he has high amounts of dark rage, stall it. Take out a bunch of droids, and then go for it. So here we go. It's Full. It's a time to go all out. And when he falls below 50% health, he's going to reduce. He's going to reset the cooldown of drain light. So keep that in mind. It's going to be a bit tough. But once he starts fall, falling way below 100%, 50% uh, health, it shouldn't be too bad. All right. Very important. Let's call in. Uh, let's feed Terminator to Basta. Let's see if she has an assist ready for us. Does not. But we can call. We can do this assist right here. Get Jedi Knight Revan to come in. Big couple hits right there. Probably going to lose mission. That's fine. He's still below 50% health. You got to be careful because if he teeter totters between a, 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 a over a 50% health and he goes over and then under, he's going to keep resetting drain life. So we want to prevent that as much as possible. Here we go. Uh, let's do a basic right here. Kapom. Um, dodge. Beautiful. Let's keep doing this. Basic. Big hit. Mark. Now let's mark him. We can't. He has tenacity. That's fine. But here we go. And we're getting close. We're getting very close. Let's do a basic right here. And I think we got it. Here we go. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we three-starred the event. This is the strategy to kind of follow. If you want to use the Mission Zalbar strategy, this is what you're going to do. And this is so much easier than doing it without uh, without Mission. Of course, you can do it without Mission. Click on that card in the top right-hand corner like I referred to several times. I did it with T3M4 and less Zetas and the less gear and less better mods. And we three-starred the Darth Malik event. A lot easier for the dark side version. But regardless, let's now unlock this character. And hopefully, 
This video is going to be helpful. I know the other video is me pioneering this strategy, spending hours doing it, but once I found out the strategy perfected and I show you the ideal team to use, the event is not as bad. But of course, you need to have the right teams, the correct Zetas, and the correct mods to make sure you get the most out of it. But there we go. Unlocked Malik on my main account, and I now unlocked Malik on my test account. And this took me significantly less time. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like if this was helpful, comment down below. I'll try to respond to some comments for people who are still having trouble. And subscribe. So you're not missing a thing, and we will talk again very soon, guys. Peace out. Down, down, down.